NSE, National Stock Exchange, about two days ago, has changed the eligibility criteria for the stocks which can be accepted as collateral. So there is a change in the criteria, and according to that, some stocks may not be accepted anymore. And there is also a change in the margin requirements for some of the large cap Nifty 50 stocks. So Harmis joins in with this, uh, the latest on the NSC circular and what it means for investors and traders. Harmis. You know, the circular, as you mentioned, came out a couple of days ago, and this is a periodic revision that the NSC takes place. Now, this is a revision for stocks that can be pledged as collateral to secure margin funding. And based on this, the NSC has now revised this list of stocks now, which can no longer be used as collateral to secure this margin funding. Now, the note for the circular from the NSC clearing says that they will only be accepting those securities which have an impact cost of up to 0.1% for an order value of one. 1 lakh rupees. Now, impact cost is, of course, the cost of executing a transaction for a predetermined order value. And that is one of the criteria. And the other criteria is that the stock should be traded for at least 99% of the days over the last six months. Now, based on this, the list that they have revised, it's a long list of stocks. And this will not be effective immediately. It will be done in a phased-wise manner. So, from August 1st, the, uh, the list of stocks now which are ineligible for after a period of time will only invite a 40% haircut from the 1st of August. Basically, it means that if you now pledge these shares which are no longer eligible from the 1st of August, you will only get 40% of that amount. And from the 1st of September, it will be 60%. From the 1st of October, it will be 80%. And from the 1st of November, it will be a complete 100%. So, which are the stocks? Some of the prominent names. It's a long list. So, we just filtered down some prominent names. There are two auto is one of them. Filter that because it's, of course, the Vijay Kedia portfolio stock. Barbecue Nation is one of them. Bharat Dynamics being an outperformer in recent times. The stock has more than doubled in the last 12 months or so. Dish TV, Doms Industries, Inox Wind, Keystone Realtors, and some of the other names like Spark, Suzlon, and Yes Bank, which have significant retail interest, also form part of this list. Back to you. Uh, okay, uh, Hormuz, thank you very much uh, for explaining that. Uh, how much of this is an impact which is playing out and which will play out in the, in the coming days and weeks? Ashish Rati is with us. He's a whole time director at HDFC Securities. Uh, Ashish, good to have you with us here on the program. Thank you very much. You're one of the big brokers uh, offering this facility. I mean, uh, I think uh, the margin traded facility, right? Uh, could you yes, tell yes. us, uh, not just for HDFC, but what is the size of this MTF book now? Uh, which I think had grown very fast in the last couple of years. So, uh, so actually, what I read overall in the articles, if you look at that MTF book size, I mean that is around about across the market could be around seventy thousand crores. But I can tell you one thing in terms of MTF, uh, the risk mitigations are already in in place. The norms of collateral acceptance, upfront margining are so stringent that in terms of systematic systemic risk, there is. No risk okay. actually on the book. But yes, the book size is large and 73,500, almost 73,500 crores is what I heard the number on the street. Uh, now, you secondly, must have... uh, coming on to this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, I, you know, you must have already uh, seen the list of stocks, right, which are now being excluded. Uh, yes. Could you say, for example, for HTC Securities, uh, hmm. you know, what is the uh, what is the outstanding resting on these stocks for you? So for HDFC securities, I'll tell you. I mean, uh, I mean, where we are coming from this circular, which is there. So what happens is, particularly uh, a customer, if he wants to take a position in say MTF, would pledge these stocks and take MTF exposure in any stock. So what is changing is the stocks which he can pledge, okay? And a broker in turn repledges it to the clearing corporation. Now that's the sum and substance. So earlier the number which the broker could take was around around, around about. 1,729 approximate number. Now that reduces and the number comes down to 719 almost. Okay. So the number of stocks that actually reduces is 1,000 approximately. Okay. So how does it impact uh, all the brokers? But clearing corporations have done a very good thing. So they have staggered it. So immediately the impact may not be there. The impact would stagger over a period of from August to November. So from August, what you said, uh, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. So what happens typically, a broker would repledge it to the clearing corporation and then give limits to the customer. Now, now what will happen is once this stock list reduces, I mean, say particularly from November 1, the broker actually now will have only 719 securities to play with. Okay. The broker can obviously give more securities which can be played, but however, then it will require his own working capital to be deployed. So the brokers 
can give customers additional securities as margins. However, their own capital will have to be deployed. So I think so with this move, the risk management will become stricter in terms of number of securities that you can take from the customers as margins. Secondly, what will happen is in case the brokers sorry, still want Ashish, to give the customers, Ashish, one, yeah. Ashish, one minute. He, in MTF, you will yeah. you deploy your own capital in any case, right? You you are financing the customer for taking position. Uh, wh what do you mean by that? You said that this you can go financing. outside the list, but yes. then you have to. Yeah, sorry, go on. So, so there are two parts to MTF. One is the stocks which you accept as pledge. Now that list is changing. And one is in the scripts which you can give exposure. Okay. So in the scripts that you can give exposure, that is not changing. What confirmation as of now we have from the clearing corporation. However, in the month end it will become clear. Okay, what it is. Okay. However, whatever stocks you are accepting as pledge, that list is changing from the clearing corporation. Okay. No, no, I, I understood that. My only question was when you said you can go outside the list. And you have to then provide yes. uh, own funding. Correct, uh, correct, correct. In any case, for these 700 stocks, these 1700 stocks, you you were providing funding, right? I mean, if you were no, providing no, so, leverage on top of, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So what I told you, Prashant, is two parts. One is what I accept as pledge from the customers. So what I accept as pledge from the customer, I could repledge it to the clearing corporation. Okay, that option was there. Now for the 1700 securities, now the list reduces to only seven. I see. You can't, securities. you can't repledge basically for the if you go yes. outside. Yes, if you go out. Uh, so now that reduces to 719. So obviously, the clearing corporation will give me exposure only against this 719 and not uh, against the balance 1010 after November 1, 2020. No. Uh, Ashish, you said the entire exposure for margin trading, uh, traded funding, MTF as it called, is about 73,500 crore, right? Yes, yes. Approximately, that's the number which we Approximately. Read in the that's the latest number. So now the 1,000 securities are excluded. Earlier, 1,700 were eligible as collateral. Now, 719 are going to be eligible. So nearly 1,000 securities are excluded. How much does, how many, how much does that 1,000 securities constitute as a percentage of that overall book of 73,500 crore? So once again, to clarify, see, uh, the exposure which is taken on MTF stocks, that list doesn't change, okay? The underlying collateral, okay, which the customers give us pledge, that will entail a change. That will again depend on the broker also. If he can fund, he can still continue to accept those securities. So we will have to see how it plays out in the market going forward from August 1, September 1, October 1 and November 1. So then only we'll be able to make out that move. Okay. Is, is there any way uh, you can tell us uh, how many stocks for HDFC securities will be impacted on the 1st of November? Because of so, these exclusions? So we have not yet internally decided ki how many we will decide. So once we, no, uh, you, once we have... You will have to... Things, you, will, you will knock those out, right? If there is a... If it's out of the NSE uh, list, you will uh, knock it out. Yes, yes. So mostly we'll knock it out. So current list is approximately 1072 that we accept as margins. Okay. Hmm. So I think so the impact could be if we, if we continue with this model only, the impact could be around 300 securities getting knocked off. 300 securities getting knocked off. So... No. Uh, got it. From your list. Uh, so you yes, had yes. 1072 one approved and 300 will approximately go out. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, today, uh, because you will know operationally, there is no impact immediately, right? Which is, it's it's in a graded no, manner. No, no impact. Uh, no impact immediately, but we'll have I'm to I'm asking because markets are down. There is no impact of this per se, as you're saying. I mean, there's no, you would, you would know at a system-wide HDFC level. No, no, no. At HDFC level, there's no impact because of this as of now. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ashish. Appreciate you joining us and uh, good speaking with you here on CNBC TV 18. And uh, lots of measures coming, right? I mean, there is that SEBI expert panel looking on the FNO side. Uh, exchanges themselves doing their bit to try and kind of reduce uh, uh, sort of risks in the system and ma maintain uh, orderly function as far as markets are concerned.